Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. Hope you guys are doing well. Another exciting video today. Where are we at, by the way, on location? I'm over here in Omaha, Nebraska, doing some things with Xmark. Stay tuned later this week for that video. Really quick, wanted to say we're gonna do a little intro here for Blake's deal with BDS Outdoors. Super excited about this one. Flew all the way down to Atlanta, Georgia to do this video, and I was not disappointed. He's got an awesome setup awesome business you guys got to check out the podcast we'll leave that link in the description down below but i just want to put a little bumper on here so you guys knew who we were talking about and just let you guys know that if you have not checked out the rest of this teenager playlist what are you doing we got five folks in so far we're going to be doing six uh people six episodes six interviews i got the next one next week with nick teeple all the way over there with paxton grounds so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but I just wanna put a little bumper on here that if you guys have not been watching the videos, you're totally missing out. I'll make sure to leave a little playlist here at the end of the YouTube video, and you guys can check that out as well. So long story short, Blake Steele, he's 18 years old. He's got a jamming business, about 60 plus customers that he does for mowing, another 10 to 20 with landscaping. He'll talk about that in the video, but he has got it going on. He's got a bunch of great equipment with Skag. He's also got his dream purchase, which is why he started his business five years ago. I'll leave that up to him to reveal that for you guys. But I'm just really, really excited about what he's got going on, and it motivates the snot out of me to work my business harder too. That being said, guys, I wanna say a really quick thank you to the sponsors. I know you guys have been hearing about them the last couple of weeks. We've got Echo, we've got Stable, and we got Equip Expo. And I just wanna let you guys know that Equip Expo registration for the early bird discount ends September 7th, which is a Thursday at midnight. So you guys can use promo code Brian to save 50% there. I can't wait to see about 25,000 of you guys down at Equip Expo, the largest trade show of its kind in the green industry. That's where we're all gonna be later this fall, October 17th through the 20th. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below if you guys wanna get registered for that. But with that being said, thank you so much to the tour sponsors for making this happen. It cost me a thousand bucks to fly out to Atlanta, Georgia to go hang out with Blake. We couldn't do that without the sponsors. So guys, that being said, super appreciate you watching. If you enjoy the video, big thumbs up. Leave me a couple sentence comments uh, down below encouraging Blake. He would really appreciate that. And I love reading your guys' comments too. Without further ado, let's kick it over to Blake Steele all the way down there in Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, what's going on guys? All right, we're gonna hop right on into it. I'm all the way down in beautiful Atlanta. It's gonna be an awesome shop tour. Make sure you guys watch all the way through. Here is my great guest here today. We got none other than the man, Blake Steele. What's up, brother? What's up, guys? Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Dude, awesome, awesome. We actually just got done shooting a podcast episode. You did a great job telling your story. Thank you. You got so much success going on, a lot of hard work. It's gonna be a really cool tour. Yeah, it's, I have some stuff I get to show off. So. Dude, we're smiling uh, ear to ear like idiots because uh, he's got some great toys that were the motivation to start his lawn care business six years ago, five years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all came full circle. He just picked up some cool toys. Of course, a lot of equipment. We'll get into it. Uh, but man, you've got it going on. So. Thank you. Great job. Um, so by the way, where are we at uh, down in uh, the greater Atlanta area? So yeah, south of Atlanta, about 40 minutes. Uh, I live in Moreland. Okay. Uh, at the You'd probably know Noonan better. Uh, about 30 minutes south of Atlanta, Noonan, Moreland, Peachtree City, that area is kind of my service range. Okay, cool. So, but it's a beautiful area. It's kind of out in the country, so there's not much traffic. Taking Brian back to the airport is going to be a little hectic, but he'll be fine. It'll all work out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so really quick, uh, for anybody who doesn't know you, I've been following you on Instagram for years. Uh, your business and company growth has been awesome. Give me like the 30 second like highlight reel, if you don't mind. Like, What do you do? Where you, what Residential, commercial, lawn, landscape, all that mess? So I started my business back when I was 14, just in a neighborhood, push mowing lawns. Uh, I've just worked my way up from that there. I have a couple commercials. I'm starting to really get into landscape jobs. Uh, about 50, 60 mowing customers, probably about 70, 80, or 90 in total uh, for landscape and mowing combined. So it's been a pretty good season. That's awesome, man. And mm -hmm. this is year four, right? Season Year four, season five. I started over the summer. So okay. this is about in that range. That's season, awesome. Fifth season. That's so. awesome. So you guys are crushing it, man, and mm -hmm. uh, been reinvesting ever since. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's uh, do this. We're going to take a little tour. We're going to go uh, truck. The mow equipment, you said, we'll talk about the shop and then we'll end mm -hmm. up with landscaping? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, man, so is this, uh, you wanna start with the Crown Jewel, Yeah, this is my Crown Jewel. <laughs> this is a 2019 Ford 6.7 Power Stroke F250, the Lariat. So, I honestly, I don't know how I could get this, but we went to the dealer, because I, I used to have a GMC Canyon, and doing what I was doing every day, it was not holding up well. It's just not designed for it. So we went to the dealer, I was looking, I was probably trying to get an XL truck or something, and we, found this one we ran the numbers and the numbers just checked out and I got my dream truck so I was excited about that that's awesome and like I said it's the six seven diesel so I haven't had any issues towing anything it handles everything I've had any breakdowns 
put about 20,000 on it. So it's been a great truck. I love it. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's looking mean and clean. I know you get dirty out here. We're all actors, right? Yeah, you gave me an excuse to wash it. So. <laughs> As I'm coming through, everybody's been washing their equipment and we all look like we're actors. Which if is... you showed up just at my doorstep, it would not look like this. Amen. I'll tell you that. Amen to that. Everybody's been armor on their tires and I'm mm -hmm. like, bro, we don't do that except in the winter. Yeah, I, <laughs> it gave me, I haven't cleaned any of my equipment all season. So it, if equipment looks clean, it was just like this because Brian came down. That's so awesome. Just letting y'all know that now. I feel you there brother um all right, well really quick i want to talk about the uh some modifications to the truck man because you uh added something that was uh really really helpful and just kind of made it personalized to you yeah so for one thing i have ridge grapplers i think you had those in your truck those are mean i love those tires they're quiet and they look aggressive yep and then also my favorite thing is i added the ranch hand bumper to it which was more functional than just looks for me i actually got a fender bender and it saved my truck okay what happened um, there you said you uh you got a fender bender yeah someone just I mean, I have a 9,000 pound truck. Someone just stopped at a green light for no reason. I can't stop in time, but that everything worked out good. Everyone was safe. No one was hurt. Um, but don't have a single dent from it. Yeah. So because of that bumper. So That's now awesome. every fleet vehicle I get in the future, I think I'm going to invest the extra money and put that on. That's awesome. Just because of how beneficial that was for me. So. It looks mean too, by the way. Just Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. yeah, yeah it changed yeah. the whole look of the truck. So. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it, man. Cool deal. All right, so uh, so you guys are mowing. You do a lot of grass cutting, obviously. Uh, we got your lawn care utility trailers over this way. Yeah, sure. We can start with this. Cool. Um, this is my main mowing trailer. This is a six and a half by fourteen tandem axle. I think a fourteen foot because I run a two mower setup, and I think a fourteen foot is probably the perfect size. Twelve is a little tight. Sixteen is probably too much for two mowers. I mean, it's not too much. You can't go too big, but I think this is just perfect. Um, I have equipment to fender trimmer racks, blower racks, and I also have a green touch blower rack. Um, five gallon cooler, sprayer, all my trimmer line. Um, over there, that was actually my old trailer. Cause I used to have a five by eight before I got this one. So I was working, uh, had my V-Ride, you'll see it later, but that and a push mower on that tiny little trailer. Wow. That got me through two years. So That's I got awesome. this trailer a year and a half ago. Okay. I think, yeah, that's been, um, I wish I did that sooner. That's awesome, man. And we can come back here. Um, I really like aeration. I bought a couple years ago, I bought this Ryan Lawn Air aerator. And that helps. If y'all haven't gone to aeration, you're missing out some money. Oh, yeah. That's a very, very profitable business. And I'm not at the point yet where I need to invest in a stand on one. And this one gets me by. So I love it. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as, as you keep uh, growing your business, keep expanding services. Keep reinvesting. That's right. The more money you earn, the more money you can make. That's right, man. Awesome. So, yeah. I guess we can head inside the shop now. So, by the way, the uh, the shop setup here, yeah, I was just going to say, uh, we're at your parents' property, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously they paid for everything and gave you everything, right? No, sir. <laughs> I mean, I'm fortunate to have the shop, but every piece of equipment you all see in this video is I bought myself That's in awesome. cash. That's awesome. So, um, actual shop itself, the in enclosed area is a 20 by 20, I believe. And then a 20 by 20 enclosed or open area over there. And then I think it's two 15 by 20 lean twos. Okay. Don't quote me on it. I haven't measured these, but it's a basically a 40 by 20 shop. And then with lean twos to it. That's awesome. So man. Plenty of room for mowing. But you did say it, it helped your business grow like crazy. Oh, you yeah. get some more space. Because I started, like I said, I was in a neighborhood when I first started my business. So I was operating out of my parents' garage. Okay. And we happened to stumble upon this property and with this barn, I don't, I honestly couldn't tell you where I'd be at today because I wouldn't have room. I'd probably be in a storage locker or something, but even so, I, there's no, there, there are none near me. Right, so right. I don't know if I would have this business. I'll be honest. So this shop was a game changer for me. Man, that's awesome. I wish I would have had something like this. I wish I had something like this right now. <laughs> so that's, I love it. that's awesome, man. Great, great job. We can head inside. I'll, we start at the back and work our way up. Cool deal. Um, so this mower, this is a Scag Patriot. It's not actually my machine. I don't use this for my business. We have some, we have a farm and we have some acreage. This is, you just got the radius, didn't you? Uh, we've got a radius and we got a vertex and a Z. The X mark radius, this is Scag's equivalent to it. Oh, okay. So the Patriot is like large acreage, residential, kind of semi-commercial. It's perfect for that. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better mower just for cutting some farm property and stuff. So this is, like I said, this is exactly Skag's match to the X Mark Radius. Okay, cool. Um, this I bought back in 2020, 2021, I believe. This is what absolutely changed my business, is I invested in this Skag V-Ride. It's a 48 inch, it has the uh, 22 horse Kawasaki on it. It's been an amazing machine. 
I just upgraded the wheels on at the beginning of the season, and like Brian says, uh, invest in those. It will it it help. It's worth the money, hundred percent. Yep. Um, but that has four hundred fifty hours on it right now, I believe. Um, and that's just it's been a great machine. I love it. I bought five more. Wow, that's awesome. So you started with the Patriot, then reinvested into the first V-Ride? I've never used the Patriot in my business. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that's just for family. They're oh. not family, but that's my dad's mower. Like I said, we have a farm. We have some trees. Like we have a tree farm and we had to go down there and mow around all the trees. Oh, okay. That's what that one's for. I've had the V-Ride longer in this one. We got this last year. Oh, okay. So gotcha. V-Ride was my first big purchase for my business. Nice, so, nice. Like I said, I started with a push mower and another local landscaper actually that we're kind of family friends with, he saw what I was doing and I got lucky. He had a Skag walk behind, a little belt drive walk behind that was sitting in his shipping container for 10, 20 years. I mean, it was old. And he said, hey, I haven't used this thing in years. If you can get it fixed up, you can have it. Okay. So I paid, I got to the shop. I took, I think it cost six or 700 bucks to get running again. But I had a, I upgraded from push mower to 48 inch walk behind for about a year and a half. And it was a game changer. It was a game changer, yeah. but not compared to this. I mean, that thing was starting to fall apart. And I just saw, so I, I finally invested into this. I bought this brand new from my dealer. Um, I think back then it was about eight grand at okay. the time. So okay. I mean, for a 15 year old kid, it was pretty, it was pretty steep, but it absolutely changed my business. Yeah. I, the amount of volume I could handle compared to that walk behind was wasn't even comparable. That's awesome. And back then you said, uh, we just did the podcast, but you were going from 10 to 15 accounts to about 25, 30 that year. I and went from 12 accounts to about 30, just from switching this mower. Wow. So it really was a game changer for me. And I mean, I like Skag, if y'all can tell. Yeah, they make a great mower, great product. Oh yeah. Amen to that. They stripe like nothing. And look at that discharge, by the way. What was it like 15, 18 inches, I think? Amazing for wet grass. Cheetah that says a 60, that discharge a whole lot, is a whole lot bigger. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are awesome, man. So yeah. then you continue to grow or what, 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 what came next? So next, in terms of mowers, I had over the winter, I had a Skag Turf Tiger. I got that with a clamshell bagger. It was a good deal on Marketplace. Um, problem with the Turf Tiger is it's heavy. Yeah. Is it every turn you make, you rut up, no matter what, no matter how gentle you are. And I couldn't stand it because especially it was a 52 inch turf tiger. So I had narrow rear tires. Okay. It wasn't the big wide ones like it is on the 60. So it did a lot of damage. I have customers complaining and stuff. So I can't do this anymore. This was actually my dream mower, the Cheetah 2. The so, Cheetah 2. Okay. So I traded it in. I got this mower. This thing is a beast. Um, This is, I feel like this is Skag's equivalent to the Xmark Laser Z, the okay. X series. Okay. I think people don't. Most people know the Turf Tiger. I don't think many people know about the Cheetah as much. Mm. It's kind of a more slept on mower. But I, this has the 38.5 Kawasaki, 60 inch deck. Uh, it has the thing about the Cheetah is it has a high low range. High, high gear is 16 miles an hour. That's crazy. It flies. So if you have a lot of route density, you can park at one spot in the neighborhood, just work your way down and come back. I mean, you put in high range, this thing can move. and. It's been an absolute game changer because this is my first 60 inch too. So I went from a 48 to a 60 and the volume from that, from this mower to this one, it was a huge jump too. Yep. So I got this one back in March. I think the first week of March, I'm at a hundred hours right now. So this hasn't gotten a tremendous amount of use compared to this one, but that's been by far my favorite mower I've ever bought. And you've just been reinvesting in your business these last couple of years. Yeah. I mean, this is awesome to see what you've- uh, Just one step at a time. Man, it's awesome to see the accumulating, uh, mm -hmm. you know, all the equipment and you got the shop, all the hand tools, mm -hmm. awesome we, stuff. We can talk about that stuff now if you I, want. I'm following you, brother. We can start right here. Um, this is a very, I'm not sure, this is one of the little Echo Shredder backs. Okay. It, it, you get a little arm strap bag and you can suck up all the stuff and that's paired with my hedge trimmer. Mm. Any hedge job I do, I can just go through and suck it up like a vacuum. Instead of raking or blowing all the mulch off, you just suck everything up and it saves so much time. That's only about $200. It's not terrible, but if you do a lot of hedge trimming, that's highly worth the money. That's awesome. Um, and then I picked up a Steel 94 about a month ago. We like that, it's just very lightweight. That's one of my employees prefer. I have a KM131. Also, I think you have that one too. Yeah, yeah, we use that for our bed redefiner. It's and powerful. Oh yeah. 
that speaking that I have two KM units, I'm a very, very strong advocate of the combi system or any Echo PAS or whatever, any multi-attached system. Because if you have, if, especially if you have two like I do, if one, if one engine goes down, you still have the other engine with all the attachments. It saves so much downtime because like if I, if I only had a weed eater and the weed eater went down, I couldn't, I'd be stuck. Sure. So now I can just swap out the heads. I'll, I'll, I'll should always have one working. So for one thing, you don't have to buy, it saves money on attachments too. Like I have the brush cutter, edger, bed redefiner, chainsaw. I mean, I have all of them, I think, except yeah. the like broom and stuff, but that saves a ton of money and downtime. I just, I'd recommend getting the combi system as soon as you can awesome. for any of them. Then my main weed eater and edger is I have the 2620s. Um, I love those. I think that's the best weed eater that's ever been made. Because I've tried Husqvarna, Steel, Echo, none of them compare to the 2620. Yeah, I, I love the Echo 2620. That's we, just, we have four of them, I think, now. Yeah, it's just reliable. Mm. It doesn't, it always starts up. It doesn't give me any issues. And it's, I mean, I think it's used every day, day Amen. in, day out. So, yep. that's been my favorite. Um, that Husqvarna, that's that's the actually the weed eater I started with. That's my dad's that he let me borrow. Yeah. So. I just he he told me I could use it, but it, when I had enough to get my own equipment, I reinvested and got my own stuff. So that's awesome. Same with that blower, that Husqvarna 150. That's a little residential blower. It's not that powerful, but it got me by. This was my first uh, upgrade my business. I got this BR 600. Yeah. I actually it's not that powerful, but I might argue that's the best blower ever made. Okay. Because it's lightweight and it's just reliable. That thing's got to have nearly a thousand hours on it, <laughs> and it doesn't. It doesn't stop. It starts first pull just like the day I got it. That's awesome. That's the, been by far the most reliable piece of equipment I've ever owned. You know, it's funny you say that. A lot of guys throw back to the 600s over the seven and 800 replacements. Mm -hmm. They just love the 600s. It, that's how I am. I mean, I have the 9010 and the 800. Mm -hmm. My employees choose this every time. Is that right? Uh, every day. And I, I do a lot of times. Now, this is the main mowing. This is the main one we use. That's awesome. It doesn't cut it for leaf cleanups anymore. Sure. But then I picked up the 800. Same thing as the 600, just a little bit more air. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that. That's I, That thing's so nice. It's lightweight. Because I have the 9010 also. I have that for two years now. I believe Brian's talked about it. it. Nothing beats it in terms of air, but it's just bulky. Yeah. It's not comfortable. I bring it out for landscape jobs. I bring it out for leaf cleanups. Yep. But besides that, it's just not comfortable to use for weekly mowing. Yeah. So I use the BR800 and the BR600 for weekly. That, that's that's exactly what I always say. The BR600 um, and then the Echo PB770. Mm -hmm. People sleep on those. And the 770 is great because it's fast miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Great for blowing clippings. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the best for the leaves. Yeah. The, I, like I would go with the 9010 or you know 800 for the leaves. But yeah, I'm right there with you. That's how I am. For mowing, weekly mowing, Echo 770. What's the Red Max on the 7500? Uh, no, even like the 5150s are great because they're, they're 25 pounds. Yeah, you know? it's the same thing. But if not, the 7500s are where it's at. The 600, I believe it's only 20 pounds. Yeah, that's what it's I'm saying. It's a light machine. Yeah. So it's you can wear it all day. And especially if like, some uh, companies you know, have a bunch of ladies working with them now and having that on the back versus a you know, 30 pound 9010 or something. It's more for reliability too. The only thing in five years I've had go wrong is the pull cord broke. Sure. And that could be argued that was my fault. Yep. So that's... Yep. In terms of mechanic wise, people are always like, oh, steel's force choke, it's gonna have issues. I agree with the weed eaters. I actually haven't had good luck with the steel weed eaters, but the blowers, they're solid. There you I would go. buy five more. All right. But, good to know. Yeah. So And then uh, you get the work benches. Yeah, this is all my this is my workstation. Get your pegboard, um, yeah. I like Milwaukee. That's my that's my brand of choice. There you go. Over here is my blade sharpening station. I have the all-American blade sharpener. Oh yeah. I'm not sure. Have you seen any of those? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. been great. Uh, I used to just have an angle grinder in the American blade sharpener that that thing's helped a lot because I don't know if I do enough yet to invest in the RBG Whatever that's called 712. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like 600 bucks. Yeah, but, but this if anybody hasn't seen this show them how it works really quick Because it's just basically a jig. We did a review, you just, uh, review video on yeah, it. You just mount the blades in like that and It keeps the grinder at a fixed angle and you can just go up Brian. Yep, so it's always at locks. So you always get the right 30 35 year angle whatever your preference is. Yeah, because there's a little knob and you can rot you can fix it to whatever angle you want so if you have mulching blades or high lift or whatever you can change what angle you want them at yep so. I, I think uh sharpening lawnmower blades was like the bane of my existence when i was younger i could just never get that perfect angle i wish uh the, the jig's like 230 bucks i think on amazon or whatever no it's i think i paid 
I got it equipped. There was a discount. I think I paid less than 100 for it. Oh, shoot. That's even better. Unless it came, it went up a lot. It wasn't bad at all. It's totally worth it. Though. Yeah, you can't beat that. You I, have I, to buy the angle grinder. Sure. But you it, know, besides that, it's not that bad. 50, 80 yeah. bucks for an angle grinder. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, man. Yeah. All right. Well, by the way, uh, if you guys are enjoying the video, uh, big thumbs up. Super appreciate the love and the support. Uh, it's 95 degrees here. We're actually like literally sweating yeah, our butts sweating. off. <laughs> so if you guys are enjoying this, hey, big thumbs up. But a uh, lot of work, a lot of play. Uh, you want to give them like the 30 second because this is like a little tease. All right. The, uh, <laughs> you've been working your butt off for four or five years, reinvesting mm -hmm. everything you can. Uh, what was the catalyst for starting your business? You said you wanted to buy some toys. This right here, this is a Canon MX3. I'm sure y'all have probably seen it before. A lot of people have on the internet. This right here, this machine was the whole reason I started my long career business. Okay. I knew I wanted one so bad. Um, they're, it's just such a fun toy. Anyone who rides them is just, they have, they don't realize how fast these things are. That's and awesome. Like I said, I, I want them. I, saw, I remember seeing the reveal video when these things first launched. I was like, I, I told myself I'm gonna have one one day. Mm. So I basically started my business for that. My priorities have changed a little bit. Because first I was working for toys. Now I'm working to grow the business. Mm. So I've kind of switched mindsets and now I'm making so much more than I used to. I wish I had that mindset going into it. Well, yeah, but, but you gotta reward yourself along the way. Oh yeah. I bought that Sportsman 570 two years ago. A little, mm. little work hard, play hard. Well, I was, well, I was saying I was working for the reward and I wasn't working to grow the business. Sure. And that if, if, you, if you work to grow the business from the start, you could have more rewards probably. But uh, yeah. So hey, whatever, man, this is still awesome to have too. Oh yeah, I love this thing. It's my favorite thing I've ever bought. Yep, and then uh, you also got a uh, dirt bike you bought along the way too. Mm -hmm. I remember you saying you wanted to get the dirt bike and the uh, the Maverick, right? Yeah, that's a KTM 250 dirt bike. That thing is fast. I'm actually, I bought it when I was 15, I believe six, yeah, 15. Um, that's been a fun bike. It's not ridden actually that much. I bought it in 2020. It only has 40 hours on it. Sure. So it's kind of been more of a shop ornament than anything. <laughs> so, but I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to sell it or not, but I, I like it. I ride it sometimes. But, but you got to have those goals though. Oh yeah. You know, work towards something. So that was more fun. That, that's a lot more fun to me. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm following you. This is the long care uh, side of things. And you know, you're just getting started with uh, landscaping the last uh, year or two, <laughs> but you actually had a really cool opportunity that came up with uh, your parents and uh, this was actually a gift and a yeah. blessing. So, uh, so what was the story with this guy? This is my new Yanmar 425 I got for landscape jobs. I've been wanting one of these, so I was actually going to invest into it at the beginning or by the end of this year. I was gonna see if I can come up with cash or finance one for it. Um, and I just graduated and I made it clear to my parents I'm not going to college. Okay. And. I had an 18 year old, 18 year long college fund. So they were like, they gotta use it for something. And instead of forcing me to go to college, they put that college fund towards this tractor. Wow. So I'm very fortunate. I mean, I can't thank them enough for it, but it's either pe get me 60 grand of college debt or get something that'll make me 60 grand. That's kind of how I see it. And I think that's kind of how they see it. And you've been uh, starting landscaping jobs like crazy the last uh, couple months and it's a whole new world for you. Oh yeah. this is been an absolute game changer for landscape jobs. I mean, it's been on every sod job, every mulch job, everything we've done. So it's, it's, these tractors are very useful. Yeah. And over there, I have a box blade and a bush hog attachment as well for it. I'm getting a grapple for the front for like bush removal and stuff. I can just look, grab them, pluck them out of the ground with it. Dude, that's awesome. So, yeah, don't sleep on the tractors. We talked about that in the podcast for oh, probably six or seven minutes yeah, alone. They're, uh, people don't think they're, they are. But, for everything I've seen and done with them, it's you don't sleep on them. That's awesome, man. Well, good for you. Well, yeah, keep reinvesting, you. keep growing. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the tail end here, man. It's. Uh, the I also have this gag, the 30 inch push mower. I got a deal on that in Marketplace, actually. Okay. I got it for over half off and it only had two hours on it. Is that right? So I couldn't pass that up. That's a good like, deal. I just decided he didn't want it. And just, I think it was three grand new. I think I paid twelve hundred for it. it only had two <laughs> hours. So I'm like, I don't, I don't do that much push mowing, but I'm just good to have I it. I couldn't pass that up. That's awesome. And where are we going next? I guess we can go over here. Wow. So the my most anticipated purchase of this year, and I knew I was going to, is I ordered a custom made dump trailer for landscaping. This has been so nice. I've been using this thing daily almost for just all kinds, sticks, mulch, sod. 
I love it. This is a Texas Pride 7x16 dump trailer. The cool part with Dex Texas Pride is not many people know, they're fully custom. Okay. It's all factory direct. So if you buy through them for one thing, you cut out the middleman, the dealer, so they're cheaper. I think this whole trailer, I think I paid 11 for it. Wow. So I ordered the tarp. I got the, uh, it has 8K axles on it. It's a 16K, so it's a pretty stout trailer. The hands down, the nicest feature is, and it's totally worth the money, is I got the hydraulic jack. Oh wow, holy cow dude, that's awesome. Yeah, so instead of cranking for 10 minutes, trying to get on off the truck, all I gotta do is press a button. And I think that was a $400 upgrade or something. It wasn't terrible, but you gotta do that. That's awesome. Because especially these bigger trailers are so geared down, you crank so long, so. Yep. But I, I ordered three foot sides on it, so I have plenty of room. I can also add wood, I ordered the steak pockets. Okay. But spare tire, I like the three foot sides because I can still reach over and throw stuff in. Okay. I I looked at a trailer of four foot high size and you can't reach. I mean, you basically gotta throw stuff into it. Sure. So this is kind of a good happy medium. That's awesome. Dude, I mean, I'm 6'3", and it's kind of right at my head level. So four foot one would be way over my head. Right, right. So, Man, that's a game changer. Oh yeah. That's uh, awesome. That's, it's gonna stay busy. Good so, for you, man. Thank you. Excited for you. This is uh, seeing it all come together, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of hard work. This has been, Dude, I, this has been very anticipated. Like I said, because what was when you ordered your trailers? What was the turnover time? Uh, nine months. The joke was it's uh, quicker to make a baby than it was a trailer. Yeah, and that's <laughs> it's gone back to normal yep. for them at least. This was a four week turnaround. Oh, that's not awful. No, it uh, yeah, it only took four weeks from the build it after I ordered it. Yeah, I think they're back down like you said to you know a couple months. Mm -hmm. Some stuff is in stock, thank God. So, but that was a wonky two years. They shipped it to Tennessee for me, so it was about a 10 hour round trip to pick it up. Oh, okay. It's either that or drive one, 10 hours one way to Texas to get it. Oh, there you go. So I paid a little bit because they have a dealer, or not a dealer, but like a stop in Tennessee. So cool. you can go, you can get it delivered anywhere, but they take it to Tennessee for you and that's $2 a mile from there. Wow. So that wouldn't have been cheap to get delivered here. So I'd rather drive, save some, I mean, diesel is expensive, but it saves me money. Yeah, So makes sense. Um, and then I guess we can talk about this. If y'all have land or y'all have a shop or anything, get some on like on site fuel tanks. This has been it's a steep upfront cost. I think the fuel tanks were a couple grand a piece, but the amount of downtime it saves and the fuel savings is like I can every evening when I get back from mowing, instead of having my employees go wait at the gas station with me, I just unload the mowers off the trailer, bring them over here, fill them up. Yeah, so, and fuel's like, I think we get it below $3 a gallon if wow. you buy it in bulk. That's awesome. So it saves a lot of money. And it's, like I said, it's mainly just the downtime. Yeah. If you have the room to put this, check with your laws, because yeah, I'm not sure if it's legal everywhere to do this, but yep. the, it's totally worth it. That's, that's awesome. That's been the best thing I've put, put at this shop. Man, that's so. building the dream right there, bud. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I'd like to see if there's room. I might see if I can find a little 100 or 250 gallon tank just for mixed fuel. Oh yeah. Because just for all my two strokes, because that's the thing I, I feel like I refill those cans more than anything. Right. So if I can get a little 100 gallon tank of mixed or two stroke gas, that would be nice, but I don't know. Man, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Dude, you got it going on, man. Yeah, I'm, thank you. I'm super impressed and uh, a lot of good growth, man. And uh, I know like you, we've talked about on the podcast, you've been reinvesting for years and starting to see a lot of stuff snowball. Mm -hmm. I would talk about that too is Save your money, like don't don't buy reckless stuff, but don't also don't feel bad about putting your money into your business. Mm. Because that's something I, for when I was younger, I was, I've kind of been brought up to save everything and I didn't spend that much. I think I used the same weed eater and mower for the first three years of my business. Mm. And I finally realized if I put some money into my business, for one thing, it's a tax write off and uh, it makes you more efficient, makes you more money. So. Don't just buy like Fortnite stuff or something, but uh, <laughs> sure. at the same time, don't be afraid to drop some money into your business. It's gonna make you money. That's awesome, so man. That's kind of how I've learned, and I don't really, it doesn't really scare me anymore. If I know if I know I'm gonna get a good return on this dump trailer or like on my truck or something, because if I didn't have that truck, I couldn't get this dump trailer. Mm -hmm. So you gotta also look at it as a future investment. Man, that's awesome. So it, it's worth it. Just, just bite the bullet and do it, and it will be a good return. That's awesome, man. Well, that's what we got, man. Uh, super appreciate the tour. Thanks for the hospitality. Um, yeah, thank your, you for coming down. Yeah, your parents have been great. Uh, it's been fun hanging with everybody here. Uh, we're doing a quick turnaround. I'm headed back home before you know it. Um, 
Where, where can people find you, by the way, if they want to keep up? Maybe shoot you a DM, say hey. BDS Outdoor Services on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. All right. And we'll leave links in the description for that podcast we did earlier, man. Okay. But you're doing great, brother. Thank keep, you. Keep the hammer down. Keep reinvesting. Keep growing. And uh, excited about seeing your future growth. Thank you. Come check back in a year or two. See where I'll be at. Hey, I'm done with that. All right. Sounds good, brother. Thanks again. Thank you.